Salutations, everybody. It is Maddie here today, and happy Thursday to all of you. Now, you may be a bit confused. I mean, why happy Thursday? It's not Friday. That's typically when we're celebrating a specific day of the week, if anything, right? Well, wrong, because this is a Thursday worth celebrating because we got an update on Sky Oblivion, the Oblivion remake in Skyrim. And anytime I see this thing, it's actually like a form of torture because I'm like, I just... I need to put my hands on this game and see what it's all about. That's all I want right now in life, okay? Because I've been staving off this Oblivion playthrough for years, and my patience is wearing thin because I just want to play this remake so bad. Anyway, they've dropped a brand new update in all seriousness on Elder Scrolls for Oblivion being remade in Skyrim, aka Sky Oblivion, and it looks chef's kiss superb we're going to be going through everything they dropped in this update as per usual and as i was reflecting prior to making this video i was thinking to myself man we've been talking about this for six years and they say in this video they're nearing the end of the road which gets me really excited to hopefully one day be playing it but also just crazy to think about when this all started back in 2016 was the first video that i made on sky oblivion so real real crazy to think about but anyway let's get into everything that's new with this update i just want to preface it by saying that this is a big update but there are certain things in here that aren't gonna blow you away in the sense of like we're gonna talk about goblins and it's a cool attention to detail but the, a lot of the explanations they give are very lore driven they're not like we completed x amount of this and y amount of that you're not going to see a lot of that in this update. Doesn't mean that it's any less effort they've put in. Just it's not the, the big deal type of things that I think a lot of gamers get excited about. Anyway, let's start off by talking about goblins. So they highlight that there are seven different goblin tribes in this game that are identified by both their skin and tattoos. And they're scattered throughout various locales in Cyrodiil. They also highlighted that these goblins come in all different battle types. You got warlords, shamans, berserkers, you got chefs. And the reason I really appreciated this is because it actually highlights little things that you typically, at least I don't pay close attention to in something like Oblivion. And now because of that added detail, because of the better technology powered by Skyrim, you're able to do things that typically you wouldn't have been able to do in the early 360 days with Oblivion. So a small little detail there, but still cool to see that there will be variety even in the goblins and the goblin types that you'll be encountering. Next thing they show up, one that I think more people will be excited about, is the 3D assets. So they are remaking every single 3D asset from Oblivion. So that's potions, that's buildings, bookshelves, clothing, what have you. All of it is being remade. And the majority of the 3D assets on their to-do list have been completed. And to give added perspective of some of the efforts they've gone through remaking this, they mentioned that Leowin, one of the major locations in Oblivion, has 111 separate architecture pieces. Now, currently, they've completed the Alien Ruin set. They've completed the lower class houses, farms, forts, and cities like Skingrad, Broomer, and Breville. So those are complete. But now they're asking for help on a lot of the architecture work for this game because that is the last leg of development that they're doing on a 3d asset front and this is crazy to think about that 111 pieces could go into one city and they describe why and how these cities are powered and why it is the way it is it's a level of detail that i think for a free fan project like i don't know how else to say it other than they don't have to go to this effort but they're doing it because clearly there's a lot of love for oblivion and as i go through these trailers you know sometimes i eye roll a bit when people are like modders do it better than bethesda but these trailers that they put together for sky oblivion are so well edited the narrator sounds incredible the writing is awesome you know it's very epic almost very proud you can tell of the work that they've accomplished and even some of the animations they do in the trailer it's just Again, high, high levels of effort here. And if Bethesda is going to take a note of anything outside of modders work inside their content, it's actually the trailers they make for their mods because th it's just a breed of its own, honestly. So yeah, they're working hard on 3D assets. And again, they are looking for help on not only the 3D architecture, but all aspects of the game. And again, I'll always, as per usual, have Sky Oblivion's website linked down below if anyone's interested in signing up and helping out because our channel's growing and so we're reaching a bit further. So if you're interested in these efforts and you have modding experience, they are recruiting as per usual. So 
give that a look again link in the description down below let's continue on with some more stuff that's in this update they talk a bit about clothing this is one of the smaller updates kind of like the goblins where they talk a bit about the flavor if you will of the world mentioning that the upper class is going to be flaunting suits and dresses meanwhile the more modest garments will be put on different classes and you can wear all of these of course so this does apply to you but it just shows the efforts they're going through to rebuild this world now this is the part that really got me hyped where they start talking about artifacts so a lot of these artifacts are going to be reimagined and if you've been a long 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 time mr maddie viewer you'll remember that the first pop for this channel that really started growing things was skyrim rare weapon and armor guides still up on the channel if anyone ever wants to look them up they are og level stuff there and i have so many great memories of just hunting all those items down that that's really where i fell in love with the unique weapon and armor grind and they're actually reimagining a lot of them here in Sky Oblivion, but also ones that you'll be quite familiar with, like Umbra, which will glow as people will die around you, and the weapon will whisper to you. Now, you can eventually take this weapon and return it to the Daedric Lord, which will grant you the Mask of Clavicus Vile. They also show off Volandrung, which can shake the ground beneath it when you hit the ground with the Great Hammer. They show off Goldbrand, which you can obtain by murdering nine others in tournament combat. And this weapon, when you hit enemies, either up close or you can even use this skill from afar you can set them ablaze which i thought was super awesome to see and then there are other unique weapons that they say you can get from quest rewards scavenger hunts and item shops one of them that they highlight is the internal frost bow and arrow they say the arrow will melt away over time and that you can only obtain this through the dark brotherhood and yet for me it's been since 2018 that i've done a full playthrough of oblivion and it's been probably way before that like when i first got my 360 in 2009 since i've done like a deep dive of oblivion where as i was watching this video i went huh you know i consider myself at least an expert on all bgs games and there's it's just been so long there's things that are slipping where I'm, it's starting to blur the lines a little bit i'm like is that new have i seen that before did i use that where it's just going to be such a brand new experience for myself and i imagine many others out there Again, I'm trying to hold back, but it, it's, it gets really hard in these moments of temptation where you see this this video and you're like, oh, I, I got I, I at least get, just get a little fix in. So I, I might just I might dabble for an hour or two just to just to get it going. But anyway, I'm very excited to discover a lot of these brand new reimagined unique weapons and armor. So that's what they had to say about artifacts. They also highlight Bruma, where there are various interiors shown off. They show off, say, Olaf's Tap and Tack. They show off the Fighters Guild there, the Mages Guild, Castle Bruma, to really, again, show how far this mod has come, how complete it is on an architecture level, on a 3D mapping level. And that was really it, because then in the outro, they mentioned that they're seeing the end of the road, no release date yet, and that they're sourcing from fans what they should talk about next. And again, pointing everyone to skybelieving.com if you are interested in helping them out with that. So all in all, a pretty big update with a lot of cool things to show off. They said there will be much, much more in the future. And for me personally, just seeing all this stuff makes me appreciate the Bethesda community a ton because there's no other gaming community doing stuff like this out of raw passion. Like they're not making money off of any of this. They're not being funded by anyone. It's just a bunch of people who love Oblivion so much. They're like, yeah, let's let's remake this, right? Why not? Let's remake this whole thing. And there's so much passion that, again, it's very hard to get a development project going and keeping it rolling and keeping momentum and keeping everyone working. And especially when they're doing it for free and life will happen, it's like, well, you know, life happens. Sorry, this is a free thing, though. I'm doing it out of the kindness of my heart. You know, I just love to see that this community is so passionate that they're remaking a whole legendary RPG and even implementing improvements. In our last Sky Oblivion update, we highlighted some of the changes they're making to dungeons, like wise changes that on paper, I think, make a lot of sense there where the navigation is much better and it'll be much more enjoyable for us to explore. I think they're taking liberties in the right manner. Like again, with the goblins, I think the differentiation's there. It's just a fun little detail that if you're like the most hardest of core, fan of oblivion this probably won't be a big game changer for you right but for those who are like me it's been a while the lines are starting to blur a little bit hopping back in you're going to be in for a treat that feels extremely unique and especially after i don't mean to slander one mod while talking about another but 
after what happened with Fallout the Frontier, I think a lot of people felt kind of snake bitten about these big modding projects and this stigma attached to it. Like something's always got to go wrong, right? And there's a good energy surrounding Sky Oblivion. The fans are patient. Of course, we're excited, but we're being patient. The team is taking their time, making sure they got it all right. Seems like they're moving along at a steady pace. And it feels like this could actually have a happy ending, which should be nice, right? That would be so nice to be able to make content about this, to talk about it, to review it, to stream it, all that stuff. So all in all, I'm excited. A big hearty congrats again to the team for the progress they're making because certainly I understand what it's like to try to keep things going. And it's tough, especially with how big the team is for Sky Oblivion. They really got to keep things rolling there. So I'm very excited to see more on this, counting down the days so we can lay our hands on it. But what do you think? about Sky Oblivion. Are you excited with what you saw here? What do you think of the latest update? Did anything about this stick out to you? Fire away in the comments down below. And again, if you're looking to sign up, skyoblivion.com. They're looking for more modders to help build this project out and make it well and truly a reality. With that, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough from me. Take great care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.